Um, good morning, this is Jay. Um, I got asked to show how to sharpen a chainsaw. So I'm going to talk about how to sharpen a chainsaw. Um, I think the first thing um, that people should realize is, you know, there's the right and proper way to sharpen a chainsaw, and then there's kind of reality. Um, here in Hawaii, we have kind of a unique environment for chainsaws, mostly meaning that almost everywhere you're cutting you're always you're always within about four inches of lava and it's practically pretty difficult to get through a day of cutting without sticking a, a chain into the uh, rock someplace so um, effectively maintaining an ideally factory sharp factory oriented chain is is not too practical unless you're going to be throwing out a lot of forty dollar chains so I'm sure that, you know, there's going to be some old school guys that are going to say, hey, you know, well, you know, you do it this way or that way. Well, that's true, but, um, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And sometimes you have to depart from, you know, this, you know, the, the dogmatic uh, center to somehow survive this. Um, ideally, um, it's nice to sharpen chainsaws with files. That's the best way to go about it. It's File guides are good, of course, but you know by hand is better and I I mean you need to understand the principles behind sharpening a chainsaw more than any other tool. Actually, at this point, I've broken down. I use a Dremel tool. A Dremel tool doesn't really do a very good job because the stone um, has a tendency to overheat the blade tips or the the cutter tips. And, um, you know, so your saw life is going to be diminished with that. And it just removes a lot of material as well. But, again, so does rocks. And, uh, like I say, you know, it's just it's a practical concern. So, anyway, um, there really isn't very much to sharpening a chainsaw. If you look at the chain, side of the chain, you'll see that it has little embossed marks on it. This one here. You'll see on top of the guide... If I can get in here, it might be hard to show. There's a tiny little mark right there. And if you look at the top of the tooth, let's see if I can get a picture of that, you'll see there's a tiny little one there. Okay. The one on the top tells you which way the file goes like this. And that's generally 25 or 30 degrees, depending on the, on the file. The... The uh, cant of the file follows the top of the pitch of the tooth, regardless of what kind of tooth it is. And this little depth here um, is kind of the one that people get confused about. Um, these guides are what controls the depth of the cut of the blade. And it it's easy to sharpen these, and, and a lot of people forget to remove the material here. And, of course, this little guy starts to run in the shadow of this lump, and it doesn't cut anything anymore, and people think that's that's worn out so that's probably the most important thing to realize is you need some kind of straight edge that you can lay across a couple of teeth and see whether or not there's clearance here and that clearance should be a couple of thousands maybe you know this sheet two sheets of notebook paper maybe that's a good number uh, clearance if this is actually higher than the distance between either of these two teeth this thing isn't going to cut for squat so um, be sure you remove that. Um, otherwise, I don't know really what else to tell you about it. It's simple. Um, get in there with the Dremel tool or your file, regardless of what you want to do. You know, two or three strokes, push strokes this direction, this direction, and top down. If you uh, make mistakes, you're going to know symptoms. If you sharpen one side too fast and one, or one side too, more than another side, then the chain won't have a tendency to cut straight. If you're getting little tiny sawdust and you're not getting chips, then very likely the guides here are too high. If these are cutting so fast that the saw clogs up and bog or bogs down, you've probably gotten too aggressive with, with cutting down the guides. Um, all in all, you know, you're going to find from the old timers all sorts of theories about how they sharpen chainsaws. The guys that race chainsaws change the profiles of these teeth. Um, some of them will depart entirely from uh, the, the 25 degree angle or 35 degree angle. A lot of guys will mix 90 degree angles in there on occasion. That, in fact, that's what turns a crosscut chain into a rep chain. 
So, you know, um, fiddle with it. You're not going to really get yourself in trouble as long as you don't do anything stupid. Um, remember that, you know, sharp is good. You know, the final indicator is what the, the sawdust looks like on the ground. It should be chips. It should not be sawdust. Um, and the saw should cut easily. It should not have to be forced. Um, I don't know. Like I say, that's about all there is to it. If there's any other questions, you know, ask me.